so now um, in our form so we need to have the select element we need to set the name so we need we are going to send an array of data array of products and then the quantity so here all we can do is the product name we'll need to set the ID so for this one we'll just use um, hmm, product name so it's an array next is I'll just start this one quantity so here the quantity it will be still an array but we'll need to supply the supplier ID so I believe we have the ID set supplier that ID So here the select will just you order and then product name and then in our quantity we'll use order quantity so now let's try if we can capture the data so in our form so currently we don't have the form but, oh here's the submit order btn so here we can wrap this one So method is post and then here let's just grab and put it inside here we need to add a new file so let's open the sidebar so in our database we get a new file save order order.php so here we can use database save order.php so if we refresh we add a product so it's showing so actually this button we'll need to set this one to button and then here should we submit so that will um, that won't trigger the submission a button once we click this one so let's try 32 12 31 submit so now currently it's empty so let's try to 
dump our post data and see so if we part up here so we have order product name 2315 then quantity we have 30 dollars so let's just add another row so product the one so product three one two three four five so here we have three products so we'll just fix the issue later so once we click on our this will reset value so we're going to fix it later so let's submit the order so just remember we have three products bottom here so as you can see here we only have seems like we only capture uh, we didn't capture all the data so so here uh, but we have the three products So let's try to to the quantity. Order quantity. We have the order quantity. We have the supplier ID. So I think we just need to add an extra array or a bracket. Let's try another product, product tree. So we have 32, 12. So as you can see, we have supplier 1, supplier ID 2, we have 32, 12. Try multiple product one, two, or submit. So as you can see here, we have so we have the product ID. Then here's. Twelve thirty one. So from supplier thirty one twelve thirty one. So I guess we'll just use or remove that one here. So let's add the product product three one two three four submit orders uh, product name 23 this is the product ID and then here we have supplier ID 1 12 to clear the job so try to work on multiple products submit so I guess in our quantity we'll need to add 
more array let's see this will work zero one so actually it should only be um so product name so two products now here we're not sure so it should what we want to achieve is the same row so two rows and then we'll have the RE keys of supplier and the quantity we want to order inside the row so QTY remove this one um, remove products the an array here this also holds an array which the one um, here we have the quantity and then the Already. So let's just try this one. Uh, the product 3212. So let's submit. So this is 233212. So this is the key. But what we want is we'll need to make it an array. Uh, the new product. bottom here so as you can see it still creates that um, array so we can use the counter ID to have the uh, grouping so let's see if this will work um, submit order so as you can see here we have first element and then it's first element uh, quantity data so let's try to work with multiple so here product three so this is one two product number two three four four five six so submit the order we should see zero so the first so twenty three one two fifteen 3 product ID 14 will have 4 5 then we'll have the 6 quantity for supplier 1 so as you can see we're able to get the data so just the reminder that the key here it should not match so it's possible that this here will be um, in ordered number so 0 1 2 3 4 but here it won't be so the reason is we have that feature where we remove so let's try to remove and so here so one two three four five so if we submit so as you can see here it's zero one two but here it's now five six seven so that's because of the counter so when we process this one we'll just 
uh, convert this one to numeric so we can just use 0 then select first element 1 first element and then we'll capture 1 2 2 1 so this is the supplier ID so here on our file use post data then here we can use so here we'll have post data r so this basically is where we store the final mapping so here we can use products capture the products and then here so let's just dump the products refresh as you can see we have IDs of products now we'll need to load the data so for each products as key will have the PID Also, we have the QTY fresh dump. So, we so we can turn this one into an array or turn to order. So, we'll just use array file use refresh as you can see here it is now turned into a numeric key so previously so So here 567, now it is now 01 though. And the reason we do that is we'll need to loop the PID. So if it's sent into the QTY key, then we'll just post data r our product id will be pid and then here we'll capture or assign the qty mapping to that array so here if we refresh as you can see here so here's the product id here are the supplier id and the quantity that you want to order so now store data so here we we'll just need to loop PID and then supplier QTY then here we'll have supplier uh, QTY QTY and uh, so our key is supplier ID and then the quantity so if we try to echo the product the supplier then QTY and then break Fresh. As you can see, we'll have the product ID 23. We want to order from supplier number 2 of uh, 2 QTY. So for product 14, we ordered 3 products from the supplier and 4 for this. And then lastly, 15, we'll order 5 quantity from supplier number 2. 
So now. going to add a uh, insert here So we'll have the add PHP so we can use or uh, use this one or is the query so we'll have can easily easily uh here uh, click connection So here um, in our PHP my admin, we want to store it inside the product supplier. So I think we should rename this one. It should be order product orders. So let's just try to rename. I think alter table name. Alter table name uh, product supplier rename to product orders or product order. Let's go. Alter products. Arthur table name Order product So now we have the order product. Um, so in this structure, we'll have the supplier um, do uh, values supplier 
we'll have the product we'll have quantity order quantity to receive that one is we'll just leave it empty remaining also we don't need that one for now so status of the batch created by each the user created and updated and so here so we'll just supplier will be this one ID product ID we need to needs to be this one PID then the quantity we ordered will be the QTY so the status of course Let's see ordered now the batch will be a date time so here we can now uh, use time so here we can do batch created by will be the user so if we have the sidebar we can get that one by using this session user which is Try to bottom this user value or data or session variable. So here let's add the session start. So here we'll need the ID. So now we can just copy the new order product then here insert into then here same thing then suppliers data will still have the value so let's try to refresh and it's an error line 41 so this one that should be an id see in our order product so it's have this refresh again this id should be auto incremented so let's um, change this one um, AI then save so let's remove first element and refresh so we don't see an error we should see four records or more five so you can see we have the supplier ID the quantity ordered is set and then also here they are in the same batch created by is correctly set and then also the quantity received quantity remaining the status this will be updated once we have the edit feature in our page
so let's try to add again add another product so let's just to product Milo let's see you, you do huge numbers so 444 so let's submit the order and refresh so as you can see 312 124 Let me check. Add another product. Five four six four five six. Sorry, no. Four five six six five five. So open eight six seven eight. So we'll have four new records. As you can see here, it are added correctly so here we'll need to so for now we'll just set the header to the current page to the same page so let's see this ad and how we okay session So page is so if we add a new product so I think this uh, product add will have a session so we can copy this one then here in our product ad going to put it below the submit order submit order which is this one so let's put it here so basically we'll just display messages session response messages so we have session response okay so success is success so we'll need to create the one in our <coughs> So we we'll need to wrap this one in a try and get. Then here we'll need to create success. So this should be inside the try. So here we can say success equals true. So for now, let's do success. False message error um, the message will just get the message from this exception class e the get message then here will be success calls true so now here We'll create a session variable called session response. This is an array. So the message will be the message variable. Success will be this variable. Now it should trigger or capture that so let's try order add another order so let's do 
this product lit so here there's no message so let's see let's go here we need two other messages so order successfully created So let's just fresh add a new one. Smith orders as you can see orders successfully created. Now here let's just add the, the submit order PDN. Font size. I think this need to be bold. Padding to PX by PX. So here, let's just copy this, paste. Refresh, and then also. This is a class here. No products selected. <coughs> Color red. Um, should be red, but style car. So let's try again. So as you can see, the ordered product list should be set to empty, fresh, and the product, other product. So here actually we'll have to add an ID. No data. And here we'll just remove it. Um So I think that one triggered the error if we or we can use so style the display none. We can also use the remove just add an FL statement if it exists then we'll remove if not. But now can use the display line so if we refresh our new product so here we can select suppliers now if we submit the order process and then here 
order successfully created so in our next video we are going to pull these orders create the order list inside so I think we might need a new navigation for order management so thank you guys see you on the next one